Why would you shim a KX500 power valve? Well, this gasket right here is about a half millimeter, and then you've got about a half millimeter or more drop here. So once you get everything together, including a little bit of wear on the case, you've got about one and a half millimeters to make up. Now, as you flip this over, because it's upside down, this is actually gonna drop and when this drops into the case, you see this valve flapper, which is basically the top of your port, of your exhaust valve port, basically drops. So you essentially drop your exhaust port timing, which might be good, but the way it's designed is you need to get this exhaust port as tall as OEM spec. And when you have wear and other things on the parts, instead of getting new ones, obviously, which are no longer made, Guys will shim these a little just to make up for that so you have the tallest exhaust port height possible.